What I was thinking after our, our session was, um, how do you do with upset? What do you mean? Like if, if, if a woman is crying or telling you what you've done wrong. Oh. <laughs> it, de it depends. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, it depends on what state I'm in, how much I've slept, who the other person is, what our history is, all that. But anywhere from the kind of classic uh, male socialized fix it thing, yeah. you know, like I can't sit with my own discomfort of them being uncomfortable and I just like want it to stop. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. And even in my head, knowing is like how many times do I need to hear of like that m many people just need to like be able to get, get it, it out. out and express yeah, yeah. And the importance of that. Um, so some, when I'm able to do that and not feel responsible yeah. to, to, and it's not just about my discovery, it's also about wanting to like show up and be supportive, but it's, right. I'm still learning about what's, how to um, be more open to what people are actually want to, <laughs> what's well, actually supportive for people rather than what I think is. Yeah, that's what supportive. I was thinking is maybe we could actually practice that. <laughs> oh, fun. You're like, don't get Great. me all excited. You're going to get upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, because I think it can be helpful to kind of in real time mm -hmm. get some help and support of like, what would I need mm -hmm. in that moment? <laughs> Great. Spring this on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and because I, I do think that there's, you know, the, what we were talking about in the last session a little bit was about like kind of copying to the things about yourself that are challenging, you know, like. Can you say more about that? Yeah, like not trying to hide, you know, like sometimes I can be a little flighty or sometimes I mm -hmm. endure stuff when I don't really want mm -hmm. it and I don't say what I need or, you know, that, that we don't usually just say those things outright when somebody's upset, right? Like we don't really say, oh, I get why you're scared right now because I can be this way. You, you know? mean when they're in, re like in reaction maybe to something that I did? Exactly. Uh -huh. So say like, say you got really tense and then you're like, oh, I just need a break right now or something mm -hmm. like that. And then I freak out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. That looks like a stressful moment for you. I mean, it is for everyone, yeah. you know. Yeah. How are you doing just imagining it? I feel warm. You feel warm. Yeah. yeah. I know it brings up a lot of <laughs> defensiveness maybe, or what's the warmth? Uh, Uh, yeah, it's yeah. just literally like heated situations. Yeah, like I've readiness, been in. almost like. Yeah, maybe a little like adrenaline. Yeah. Or nervous nerves. Yeah. You know. I know, those are scary moments. Yeah. And I think, especially for men, um, moments where you feel a lot of responsibility like, oh, something's wrong and I have to fix it or save it and it's not like it's unrealistic expectation I think there is a lot of expectation that you are supposed to fix it you know right which is where it's a part of something I think I've run into is someone when it's both at the same time or they're intertwined of like just be here and listen and also save me yeah and it's like it can't do really it. so yeah I'm just learning to navigate of how to stay more clear in those uh, situations. You know. I want to teach you how to do it really well. I want to learn how to do it really well. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll make your life so much easier. Because you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need help. <laughs> you, know? you want to yeah. uh, be loving and sexual with women, and I think that this dynamic happens a lot. Mm -hmm.